going to now enter into this segment that has become very popular, and that's trade planning with the Ask Slim team, from analysis to the trade idea. This is really interesting. We we do these independently. We don't really consult with each other. We do our analysis on all of the different things that we look at. And then what happens is, is that we um, tell each other, you know, as I'm setting up this slide, what we're going to do. And you can see the analysis is showing is throwing out short side trades. That's what's going on. We have I'm going to show you a short a short side short term outlook in Visa. And RE and Katie and Matt have intermediate term outlooks, and that's on KRE and KHB and HD. So I'm going to lead it off. Uh, Matt will be our anchor on this. And uh, let's switch over to our analysis now looking at the chart of Visa. So this is Visa, and this is a great look at the way we do analysis. And again, I'm going to reiterate what's coming up is a special on our cycle analysis workshop which if you're ready to dedicate the time and make the investment, it's going to change how you look at markets in a big way. You can see on here on the bottom, these are cycle brackets. These are the way we look at the rhythms in the market or the heartbeat in the market. You can see that what this tells you is there is a repeating rhythm. And you can see that here on the weekly chart as the rhythm follows. And right now we are in the corrective or declining phase right over here. There's a bottoming phase, as you can see right in here, a rising phase and the peaking phase and then the declining phase or corrective phase. It's really corrective when you have an uptrend and the trend is established by the higher peaks and higher troughs that you see in here. And the timing in here says that mid-May is the time when this downside is likely to come to completion that trough being formed. Now you can see here on the daily chart right over here that this cycle here uh, is pointing out to, well, mid to late May. So this is where there's a synchronicity in the uh, troughs that are formed in here. And you can see the momentum. Now this is our reversal scout. This is our proprietary indicator for level four members. And you can see where it turns up here, it kind of tells us that the bottom of that cycle had occurred. And here where it turned over and you get the shooting star and the evening star, that's telling you sellers are there and the momentum has turned down. That tells us that there is a problem right in here for this stock for the next number of weeks. Right now, it looks like about six weeks, five, five to seven maybe, of uh, further declines. Now, when I look over here at the daily chart, and I do want to blow this up so that you can see it a little clearer, here are the cycle rhythms in the daily chart. There's a dominant cycle and a minor cycle in there. And the minor cycle uh, doesn't show up really well when it's really strong. The slim ribbon in here shows you the strength as it gets support from the slim ribbon. This is a free indicator. You want to know how to get it right, Tim, right team at asslim.com. And here you could say the slim ribbon PO, which is a level four indicator, which shows you the conditions uh, of the market momentum conditions and when upside or downside resumptions are coming. Here you could see the upside resumptions or these arrow. Here you could see it turned negative and a downside resumption right here as the slim ribbon shows resistance right here. So this is that minor cycle that we're talking about. And what I'm looking at in my analysis is a short side opportunity right up here. This is the resistance that comes from the retracement levels from this peak to this low so far. We don't know that the low is in and it might certainly be lower. And you can just see here that this minor rising phase right in here is very likely to fail when it gets up into the resistance zone. <laughs> That says to me that when a low is made, then you probably get a week or two of attempted rally in here and getting up to about, I don't know, 279, 281, 282, something like that. And this being the sell zone. So I'm establishing based on what I'm looking in here, looking at it here. And I just want to come back uh, over a little bit further back. You see this cycle where it made a lower low, broke that cycle low right over there. That's what it did right over here. So it rallies into resistance and then comes down again. This one only equaled that low. I'm assuming this one is even going to be worse because I think the stock market's going to help it down a little bit more. And I look here again at the side by side. 
momentum negative on the weekly another five you know four five six seven weeks to go momentum negative here on the daily with a little rarely expected and this being the selling opportunity and then coming down right over there that is how i bring you my analysis and the trade setup looking at visa i'm going to turn this over to arvi all right, Slim. Thanks so much. Great job on uh, that visa short. Let's go ahead and hop over to KRE. We're, we're going to look at an intermediate term short side bias trade idea there. Okay, so you should see a weekly and daily cycle chart here for the KRE with the weekly on the left, daily on the right. Let's pull up the weekly. And you can see that right now in KRE, we are late, and this is looking just like a sideways move that is really set up for one more wave on the downside prior to forming that low. You will see that there is a low due. Over the next, I would say, month or so, we would look for a bottom to form here in the KRE, and then we would look for this to turn back up to the upside. We're looking for a move down to that 44 level on the intermediate term. We jump over here you'll see what i'm looking at here in kre we have now lost this old low at 46.98 so we have seen an early high now in all likelihood form and the highest odds would be that we would see overall a series of lower highs and lower lows until this next trough forms and that's due out around mid may so right now, if we see a little move back to the upside into this zone here, 47.40 to 48.26, we will be looking for it to fail around there, then curl its way back down into these zones right here from 45.08 to 43.59. If it moves through the 78.6 here at 48.74, then this would be marked as a loser. Okay, so that's our look here at the short side biased intermediate term short in the KRE. And I'm going to hand this off to you. Katie. Nice work on that, Arby. Okay. By the way, that, that looks a lot like Visa. So, you know, that, these, these are one of the, this is how these setups occur uh, in uh, correlating to each other. Great. Great That's time. right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> Can you see XHB? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is the weekly chart of the Spider Home Builders ETF, ticker symbol XHB. Uh, we have positive cycle structures starting back here in the summer of 22, when this cycle right here formed a base, which is when we get a positively configured cycle after a negatively configured one. Negative configuration is when the cycle ends lower than where it began and of course, positive configured cycles and higher than where they began. So since then, higher cycle highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Then um, in this current cycle, I had a very strong move up to the 200% FIB extension level and now backing off from there. Momentum is still positive. However, we show that on our weekly charts with the reversal scout. That's this green and purple ribbon that you see. And we'd like to see that turn purple to give us confidence that the cycle peak is in place, similar to what happened back here in this cycle, over here in this cycle, some of these others in the past. Uh, we do have these blue vertical dashed lines over here on the right, and they represent the weekly cycle timing window. That's a period of time around the ideal cycle trough here when we would expect this current cycle to form a low and then for XHB to begin to move up into the rising phase of the next cycle. And that period of time is June 24th to August 5th. Our current projection is just for XHB to come down to the top of the support zone around $95, but possibly even lower. We'll have to wait and see. Switching over to the daily chart. Um, starting here is that very strong move that we just saw on the weekly chart. Hardly a dip in here at all, except this period right in here when this daily cycle formed its low. So mostly there were just periods of sideways consolidation. You can see here, here, even this is pretty much just sideways consolidation. And now we're into this cycle and um, something is changing. 
Notice through all of this, that momentum remained positive the entire time, except uh, on the reversal scout here, when this cycle formed its low, the reversal scout went negative for a little while, but the slim ribbon remained positive. That's another proprietary momentum indicator. It colors the candles red, green, or gray, depending on momentum conditions. And it also colors the slim ribbon PO, which I have down here. And you'll notice that it was green here throughout and uh, giving many momentum resumption signals. So as I mentioned, something has changed now. Our reversal scout has turned negative. I can zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. Reversal scout has turned negative and the slim ribbon has gone from positive to neutral. XHB is threatening this cycle low support. So based on this price action and these deteriorating momentum conditions, I created this resistance zone here using this high up here and the current low. And we would expect rallies up into this area to stall and fail and turn back down. So if XHB were able to hold above this uh, minor 78.6% FIB at about 110.22, it would have repaired itself and we would no longer have a bearish bias. But keep in mind that if XHB continues to move lower, then these resistance levels will also move lower. So in terms of option strategies that we could employ using the current analysis, my preference would be something like a diagonal spread, which is we would have a, a long put out in a later dated expiration cycle, probably the July monthly expiration, and then a short put in a nearer dated expiration cycle. That short put would be able to be rolled several times to keep collecting additional credit, and that reduces our cost basis on the long put. So I will be creating a trade idea video for our level three and four members and demonstrating that on the Tasty Trade platform, how to set up a diagonal spread properly. So if you would like to see that video, please do consider becoming a level three or four member. Off to you, Matt. All right, that was great. Great work, team. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. We should have uh, HD up. Okay, so as Slim mentioned, um, in my train planning segment here, I'm going to review uh, Home Depot, symbol HD, with an intermediate time frame outlook of a short side bias, looking at the next four to eight weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step through the core trade planning questions and utilize the Ask Slim methodology to answer those. So the first one which is critically important is we want to understand and we want to define what our outlook period is. So we've done that looking at an intermediate time frame, the next four to eight weeks. So my primary focus will be on the weekly chart, but I will use multiple time frames to assist with going deeper into the analysis and the overall trade planning process. Now, number two, uh, in terms of key questions to ask when you're building out your trade plan is what is my directional bias? So at Ask Slim, we have a methodology that combines cycle analysis, momentum analysis, swing high, swing low analysis to helps us form a complete sum of the evidence. So I'm gonna step through that directional bias, some of the evidence right now. And what I'm looking at here is again, the weekly chart and I'm focused on this dominant cycle, which is made up of three uh, minor cycles. And HD has been just tremendously choppy prior to this dominant cycle, which you can see here, we did have a breakout and it did form a, a new higher high, which then gave it a positive cycle structure. And we really had a tremendous run. However, something has changed here over the last about four weeks. And number one, as you can see here that our reversal scout, so this is our momentum indicator has rolled over and gone negative. That is a warning, a firm warning uh, sign to us indication of a cycle peak. So if we have a cycle peak in place, then in theory, we should not see another cycle high. And in terms of additional technical evidence is suggesting that we have more of a bearish intermediate scenario playing out, even though we're still within the confines of a dominant sort of major, a positive pattern structure, there is an opportunity here on, on the short side. Further adding to that, uh, short side bias is the fact that HD here 
did break through that minor cycle low support that we had from this minor cycle low here, where it made that next leg higher. So this had, has, has been broken this week, likely to close below that. And this uh, continues to add evidence to that overall negative uh, picture. Okay, so now I'm going to look at going to the daily chart to see what other evidence has uh, presented itself uh, in terms of that negative case. So you can see here that we we are coming into or we are in a cycle low timing window. So we are in the meat of the period of risk here where a low is due to form. While HD went into its corrective period, and you can see the reversal scout here on the daily chart went negative indicating a likely confirmation that it peaks in place and the corrective period is in motion. You can see then uh, that it went into a steep decline and this decline has then violated the prior cycle low. So we have a cycle low breakdown. This has shifted the positive cycle structure negative. And again, in theory, this would suggest that now rallies, would, we would look for those to fail. So that's what I'm looking for now is that there will be a likely rally attempt, but that rally attempt based on some of the evidence is likely to fail. We would look for that rally to come up into the slim ribbon. That would be the first area of, of resistance. And, and if it can get through there, it'll likely fail in those deeper resistance zones uh, above. And what I'm looking for in terms of the uh, projection zones or target zones is you can see here, I have a this black line here is pointing towards a target zone around 335 and then another one more aggressive around 317. So if we got a rally so in, back into those resistance zones, what would be signals that would suggest this trade is a go? Well, you could look, that's where we then go down into these shorter duration timeframes. And on the daily chart, you can see here as one example, the Slim Ribbon PO uh, suggested a downside continuation. So this is a, a great tool, a great study to help monitor when there are likely continuations of a dominant momentum or, or price trend and uh, a way to then identify new opportunities. I'm going to pull over the our multiple time frame grid here. From left to right, we have our weekly chart, our daily chart, and the two hour and a 15 minute. But I'm going to focus on, on the two hour chart here. And what would we be looking for here and why do we use the two hour chart? Well, as Home Depot, let's assume that it makes a rally attempt, you will probably see the reversal scout go positive. Maybe the slim ribbon would either go neutral or positive. But it got, as it got up into these resistance zones, we would then watch for one or, or both of those uh, momentum indicators to roll over and then reverse back into the dominant direction. Okay, So that's how we can then identif identify opportunities that would suggest that there's new uh, downside uh, moves uh, new legs to that downside that would be available. All right, and in terms of reevaluation levels, so let me get back over to my weekly chart here. Revaluation would occur uh, if there was a close above this level here around 37075, which right now is about the 50% retracement of this decline. So right now, these intermediate resistance zones are falling because we do not have a low. But if we do get a low, and this is about the area that I would watch for for the resistance, and then if there was a weekly close above that, that would negate this uh, downside or short side bias at this time. And in terms of timing, uh, looking at two periods here, these are the cycle low timing windows for both the minor and then the minor and the dominant. So there is a minor cycle low due uh, running around 5.3 to 5.13. So these are important because as you watch for these rallies, then that's where we would start to get a sense of timing when those are going to roll over and then the new lows form. So there's two, two periods here to watch, 5.3 to 5.13 and then 5.30 to 6.7. That fits in with that four to eight week outlook.